Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can check how many characters are in your cell in Google Sheets and let the user know if it's too few or too many and do some color cell formatting to indicate that. Let's get right into it. So firstly, in cell B2, we're going to do a formula and we're going to do equals len A1 less than 4. And then in the cell A1, we're going to type in the name Jeff with one F. And it's true. So this formula is going to be checking the length of that cell. And by length, I mean how many characters are in it. And if A1 has less than four characters, the cell B2 is going to print true. But if it's got four or more characters, it prints a false. Now this is great, but I think there are better ways to tell the user if the data in the cell is valid or not. And what we can do is we could make the cell go red if they got too many characters, as opposed to just a true or a false statement here because there's very little context. So to do this, we need to go to our cell A1 or whatever cell you want to validate, then go to format and then go to conditional formatting. And on the right side of your screen, you're going to have this conditional format rules tab open up. And you need to select a range to apply to. We'll stick with A1. And for the format, you're going to click on the box here and go down to custom formula is. And then you can put in any formula you want. I'm going to use the same formula as before, which is equals len A1 less than 4. And if this condition is true, we need to now specify what the formatting should be. So I want to make the text italic and I want to specify a fill color of red. So this formatting box here will show you what it looks like. We could make it bold if we want to as well. We could underline it if we want to. And then we're going to click on done. So right now it's currently not red because we have Jeff as the name in that cell. And Jeff is four characters long, which doesn't meet the condition of being less than four characters. But let's say we type in Jess with one S. Well, look, it's now gone red. It's gone bold and italic and it's got an underline but you might be like max i want it to be something different well you can click on the cell go to format go to conditional formatting and then you can click on your conditional format rule and change it so maybe you want it to be red if it's greater than or equal to four so now it's currently not red but if we make it longer it becomes red because it's too long so thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.